So I don't regret that I did it. I feel like my path was my path, my journey was my journey and nothing has gone wrong. But if I could magically rewind time and say, ah, FCMT or FCA, I would choose FCA instead. with Picture It Personal Finance, where I help people clean up their money, both in their personal and in their businesses, so that they can either start doing work they love or continue to do the work that they love as an entrepreneur. In the last few weeks, I have received probably five either messages online or emails or um, comments on my videos or social media platforms asking me if I would still recommend financial coach master training. And I wanna address that question today because I have realized that the answer might be no. Now, you guys know my story. I love Dave Ramsey. He was the person who helped me grasp a paradigm shift that I could be debt free. He's the person who introduced me to the idea of financial coaching. And because of that, I entrusted my initial certification with Financial Coach Master Training. I have a review program on, I'm sorry, a review video on that program. And I still stand by that review because I do an overview of what's encapsulated in the program. And at the time I recommended for sure, I would tell people to go do it. And at the time that I filmed that video, this was absolutely the truth for me. Now, what has changed? Today, if somebody asked me that same question, I immediately come back with, well, that depends. It depends on a few things. The first thing that it really depends on is, who do you wanna serve? And the second thing it depends on is, how do you wanna serve them? The Financial Coach Master Training Program is really designed to gear up people to graduate from the program and then kind of shoehorn you for the Ramsey Preferred Coaching program. They are teaching you the baby steps. They are teaching you how to handle Dave Ramsey's ideal clients. And this is a problem for me, right? Very few of my clients want to do the baby steps. And frankly, very few of my clients really need the baby steps in the way that Dave Ramsey teaches it. If you listen to his radio show for very long, whether you watch it on YouTube or elsewhere, you can see that many of the people who call into his radio show are really in a distressful situation. Their financial circumstances are a disaster or the way they think about money is a disaster. But somewhere in that giant mix of information they provide, you kind of see chaos or a disaster brewing, whether it's in relationship dynamics or in the amount of debt that they have or in the way that they um, want to choose the expensive car and the expensive lifestyle, even though they have, you know, meager income and meager savings. These people are headed for disaster if they are not already in disaster. That is Dave's ideal client. That is the person that Dave really speaks to the loudest. Now, a lot of the rest of us who are not in disaster scenario can learn from that. And I think there's a part of us that's like, yeah, I'm so glad that's not me. And then you get bought into the program, you follow the steps because it helps you really clean up your life very quickly, especially if you go with the gazelle intensity that he talks about. But when it comes to my coaching practice, those aren't the people that I'm getting. Those aren't the clients that come to me. They're not even really who I market to. My ideal client is the small business owner who is dealing with stress and anxiety because they don't have their money life in order and they're not paying themselves consistently. Or it's the person who's trapped in a corporate job they don't love and they want to become a business owner or they want to have a career change. Those are the people that I serve. And frankly, often they're making really good money. They just don't know how to manage it in order to lead themselves to the future that they really want. This is what speaks to my heart. I want people to not be trapped by their bad money circumstances so that they can have the freedom to do with their money what they really want and to pursue their passions in life. When I go through financial coach master training, there is an element of that for you, the coach. It is talking to you about, well, how are you going to become the coach that you wanna be? And there is this inspirational rhetoric that exists in there but it's never geared toward information that you would teach your clients. It's more geared toward you and building your business. 
The information that's geared for the clients is a lot of information around what to do if they're facing a short sale or what to do if they're going into collections or what to do if they're facing bankruptcy and how to make those decisions, what to do if collections is calling them all the time and how to walk them through having those conversations, even script it out and practice those conversations with the collectors, with your clients. At the time that I took FCMT, I didn't know exactly who it was that I wanted to serve. And so all of this was really great information to me. I found it was really powerful and it sort of gave me peace because those were topics I was afraid would come up and I wouldn't know how to handle. And FCMT prepared me to handle those conversations. I took such copious notes, but here's the thing. I never look at those notes. The notes that I created for, in case I come across those circumstances, are buried under a pile of books that are more related to the problems and the issues and the concerns that my ideal clients have. So when it comes to FCMT, would I recommend the program? It just depends on who do you want to serve? What do you care about in terms of people's financial journey? One coach came to me and she asked me, you know, similar questions about FCMT. And she was like, you know, what's really crazy. I don't even know what I would want to coach. And I gave her this exercise. And I think this is really pertinent for any of you who are contemplating becoming a financial coach, go through your life and write down all the major milestones, all the pivotal transformation points in your life and figure out where you have a dramatic and compelling story to tell and figure out if that could be the, the key, the source of your ideal client. So for the person that I was thinking of when I brought this example up, she was unexpectedly divorced and became a single mother. And she started the conversation with me saying, I don't, I've never really carried a lot of debt. That was never a problem for me. Like, what should I do? How do I find my client? And I thought, well, where, where are your transformation points? And I find out that she went through a very abrupt divorce and became a single mother and had to climb the ranks in her corporate position and really grow her income and deal with becoming a individual income earner as a single parent household. That's huge. I could never really confidently coach people on that because frankly, I don't have that experience. It's outside of my realm of understanding even. I mean, not like on a knowledge base, but experientially, how would I even teach somebody about that? How would I commiserate with them, help them understand that's not the end of the story and help them get to the place where they are infused with hope and they have an optimistic outlook for their future. So circling back to that question, once again, do I still recommend FCMT? Just depends on who you want to coach. And if you can't figure that out, I have many resources I can recommend to you. Now, I am going to tell you which program I will recommend to you because I think it helps you answer the two questions I just posed. Who is your ideal client and how do you want to serve them? And I'll get to that in just a moment. But before I completely write off financial coach master training, I want to say this. I do not regret taking that course. Nothing went wrong with me taking it. It helped me eventually get to the point where I am today. And taking that course gave me the courage to start going out in public and telling people I'm a financial coach. If you have watched some of my prior videos, you will know that probably the biggest difficulty with me or for me with starting my business was grappling with the identity crisis I suffered from becoming a VP in the tech industry to a solopreneur financial coach. Figuring out how to tell people that if they ask me what I do, like it took forever for me to get to, I'm a financial coach. For a long time, I was like, I'm unemployed. I'm self-employed. Well, I used to do tech. You know, I had all these answers and you would think it would roll so easy off my mouth and it didn't. And that was after I even got FCMT certified. So Imagine how much harder it would have been if I hadn't had the confidence to at least be like, yeah, I've been certified through Ramsey's program. That was a huge win for me. And Ramsey's got that name recognition that when I say that to clients, honestly, more often than not, they're like, oh, I know Dave Ramsey. Tell me, are you teaching exactly his stuff? Because I'm not fully down for the baby steps. I've had a multitude of clients say that to me. All right, multitude might be an exaggeration since I've only served about 25 clients to date, but I would say at least a third of them have said that to me. Some of them found me because I talked about on this YouTube channel how I don't align 100% with the baby steps and that I don't fully agree with Dave even though I totally respect the way that he teaches people and helps people with their money. Okay, so now you're probably wanting to know, what do I recommend instead? And it is the Financial Coach Academy. 
I've actually made reference to this in a variety of other videos. I'll try to see if I can find them, but they're probably in my playlist on how to become a financial coach or how to start an online business. It's gonna have one of those two names, the playlist will. That program is run by a woman named Kelsa Dickey. She wrote this book, The Financial Coaching Playbook. She has a free membership Facebook group. I found her by searching Facebook for a group of coaches. I wanted to kind of find a community and I found her community. That community has given me just such encouragement and so much information. There, She gives so much free content, so much free training. It blows my ever love in mind. The book I just showed you, I think is like $40. It's in my list of recommended reading um, in the description box and also on my website. I positively love this book and it helped me so much. The Financial Coach Academy is designed to help people understand not just that they can be a financial coach and that they can be a successful financial coach. And it is one that gives you a certification that you can put on your website. So just like Financial Coach Master Training certifies you at the end, so does Financial Coach Academy. But on top of that, it helps you answer those questions of, why do I do this? What are my transformational moments? What are the stories that compel me in my own life to serve other people in this way? What am I, why am I passionate about this and how do I wanna help other people? How do I wanna design a program so that I'm not just doing one-off meetings that people pay $150 a session for, They're, they come with me and drop these explosive bombs of you know disaster money situations in front of me, but rather sign up for a long program of you know three to three months to a year even. And I can work with them consistently week over week to help them understand and be um, sort of consistent, establish a routine with their money. The Financial Coach Academy will teach you how to do that. It will teach you how to talk about this. It will teach you how to develop trust and rapport with your clients. These are things that the Ramsey program, I feel, made it really clear you should be doing, that it's the role of the coach to be the guide and you wanna infuse your conversations with them with, you know, in a trusting way and with sort of integrity and clear intentions on how you wanna serve them. But the program doesn't tell you how, it's more like it gives you the knowledge you need as a financial coach, whereas Financial Coach Academy tells you how to build a coaching business. I. I'm so in love with her program. I have to be honest with you, I have signed up for a variety of things with her. When I go over my books for 2021, I see Financial Coach Academy come up because she has many offerings and I sign up for a lot of them. I'm currently in her mastermind because I've gotten so much value out of the other things I purchased from her that now I've also joined her mastermind. And so I just, if I'm going to encourage people to join any program, I really think it needs to be Financial Coach Academy. That's the one that I personally have gained the most value from and that I am always sending people to her free Facebook group. And incidentally, if you're not ready to pull the trigger on that program or FCMT, go find her Facebook group. I forget what it's called. I think it's Financial Coaches Unite, but there's like 5,000 people in there. She limits the group only to people who are actively working as financial coaches, either full-time, part-time, or aspiring to be a coach. She weeds out people who join that program just to try to sell you services. Cause frankly, that's gonna happen a lot when you become a small business owner. People will find out that you're a coach and they'll be like, let me help you with your marketing. I get DMs all the time from people who act like they want to work with me until I get like the bait and switch and I find out really they're trying to sell me on their, their program. And so go there for the free content. She is amazing. I think they have a podcast too, but I'm not, I don't listen to that, but if I can find the link for it or the name of it, I'll put that in the description box too. So I guess to sum it up, I don't regret that I joined FCMT. I however would not do it again if I knew then what I know now. So I don't regret that I did it. I feel like my path was my path. My journey was my journey and nothing has gone wrong, but if I could magically rewind time and say, ah, FCMT or FCA, I would choose FCA instead if I had the foresight that I have now. So I hope that answers the questions for those of you who are wanting to ask but never actually sent me a communication. And let me know what you decide. I'd be really interested to know if you pull the trigger with FCMT, if you pull the trigger with FCA, 
And if you, you know, want to have the extra support, join that Facebook group, but feel free to follow me and communicate with me. I'm doing, I have complimentary consultations. I do them with financial coaches as well, just to like rally you and support one another and give each other ideas. I think it's so important that we grow a community and have that collaborative energy. So I will leave it at that. Again, hope you all are having a fabulous day and I will see you in the next video.